Hey again, David Henry from Inspired Tennis. Uh, I've been starting these videos off a lot lately, just myself walking around, so forgive me for doing that. I haven't had my kids uh, started up like they used to. But anyway, uh, let's move on from there. Uh, I want to do a video tonight to do a review. It's long overdue because I've been reviewing some other strings, um, but then my all-time favorite string, Luxalon Alu Power Rough, um, my string of choice that I use uh, my go-to string, so when I'm not playtesting something, uh, you can bet that Luxalon Alu Power Rough is in my rackets. Uh, it's a gold standard um, polyester string as far as I'm concerned. I judge all other strings compared to this, and to date, I have not found a string that suits my game better than this. Um, I absolutely love the string. Uh, before I get into a little bit too much more in-depth on that, just talk a little bit about the um, the company Luxlon, uh, Belgium Belgium uh, manufactured string. Uh, Wilson is the official U.S. distributor for Luxlon, and um, Luxlon only makes copolyester or polys as they're commonly referred to strings. They don't make any other uh, synthetic guts or, or multi filaments or natural gut or anything. They stay focused just on one type of string, well, one broad type of string, and then many variations of polyester, many different types of string in the Luxlon family. Um, best, or not, not best, but most, most popular, most used string on the Pro Tour. Uh, Luxalon Alu Power, just the normal version, not the rough version. Uh, that's probably the most used string on the Pro Tour. Uh, Luxalon as a brand, as a string type, is the most used on the, on the entire tour. Heavily on the men's side, but also, also on the women's side as well. And um, to my knowledge, uh, Luxalon does not pay any pros to use their string. Now, some of the top pros, I'm sure, get get free string from Luxalon, but as far as like an endorsement contract, I don't believe that Luxalon pays any pros. Um, Federer uses Luxalon in his crosses, and I don't even believe that he gets paid by Luxalon um, to use their string, okay? And um, he actually uses what's called Wilson's Champion's Choice, which is a blend of Wilson synthetic or Wilson Natural Gut and Alu Power Rough in the crosses. But anyway, back to the point of Luxalon not paying any pros to use their string, yet it's still the most used string on Pro Tour. So that really ought to tell you something about the quality of, of Luxalon. Okay, guys aren't guys and girls aren't getting paid to use it. Yet they're still using it. Okay, so it's a, it's a big deal. It's a big uh, big statement um, about the quality of the string, in my opinion. And um, Luxalon Alu Power Rough, um, it is basically the rough version of Alu Power. I've played with Alu Power, the normal version, a few times, uh, but mainly rough. And I will say that rough does seem to maybe it's only in my head, but it seems to give a little bit more bite, a little bit more spin on the ball, okay? And this was actually the first polyester string that I ever tried. I was using about, goodness, three and a half or so years ago, I was using only, um, I was using a lot of the higher end multi-filaments and some sin guts and things and had never made the switch over to poly, but was getting curious and wanted to try this. And actually I spent a lot of time on the talk tennis uh, message boards. Um, not on there as much as I, as I used to be, but um, was on the boards a lot, reading a lot about Polly, and there's a guy on there um, named Jolly Roger. He, he's got a lot of a lot of posts, and um, he he was always talking about he he played with a Lou Power Rough, and I remember one post where he called it gray crack, okay, because because it, it is gray color, and um, it it is very addicting. Um, and so I thought that was hilarious. Um, thought that was kind of a good reference to the string, so I certainly tried it. Absolutely love this string from day one. Um, a lot, a lot of bite on the ball. I mean, it really bites in the ball. It just gives an incredible amount of spin. And then it's just got this, I, I say almost magical crispness to it. I mean, it's just got this really crisp, great feel, tons of spin. I absolutely love it. Now again, as with most polyesters, it's for someone who's primarily playing a baseline game, has fast racket head speed, okay? So a lot of top spin, a lot of fast racket head speed that really bends these polys and, and makes them bite into the ball. And so um, phenomenal string, in my opinion, when fresh, okay? And that 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 is key. The when fresh is key because 
like a lot of polys, um, Lux Lawn tends to lose its tension and playability um, fairly quickly, okay? Um, I, I generally get about eight hours worth of singles play out of a set of a Lua Power Rough, and then I cut it out, okay? I cut it out for two reasons. One, because the playability um, is degrading, and I can just tell in my shots it doesn't quite have the crispness. Maybe I start to spray a few more balls than normal, um, so I can tell from the playability goes down. And then because of that, because playability is gone and because it's lost some tension, I want to get that out of there because... Um, Dead polyester can be harsh on the elbow. Even fresh polyester can be harsh on the elbow, but especially harsh when it's dead. So I get that out of there. So I get about eight hours of singles play out of a set, and I cut it out, restring, put another fresh set in there, okay? And um, so that that is kind of the downside to Luxalon Alu Power Rough, is that it does tend to um, lose its playability rather quickly. But to me, all the upside potential of the way this string plays um, is well worth well worth it, and I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, the uh, the lower or slow, you know, less time frame for the for the playability that I get out of it. Now, this string is um, it is still a round string, but it's textured. Okay, so you got a loop power a loop power normal, which is smooth and just a round um, monofilament polyester string, and then this is the exact same version, only it's textured. So all along the string, you can see these little quote unquote rough spots, that's where the name comes from, um, that kind of bites in the ball and, and gives it some extra extra spin, um, or lets you to produce extra spin. And um, it's different than a lot of other polys that are meant to do spin. There's a lot of other polys that are shaped, meaning they're, they're like a pentagonal shape, um, or like an octagon with eight different sides. So, you know, a lot of different shape strings and even twisted strings. So they shape a string and they kind of twist it to give the bite. Uh, this is a little different. It's just a, it's a round string, but it's just got texture on the surface of the string. So um, it's, uh, it, it's kind of expensive, okay, especially for only getting eight hours of play out of it. Uh, it sells for about $16.75 on most of the major online retailers. And then I believe a, a reel of it is uh, 265 I think, at most places. So it, it's definitely up there and pricey string. But again, to me, it's, it's worth it. I absolutely love this string. So, you know, if you've not ever tried it, I highly encourage it. Um, you know, again, if you're the type of player that can benefit from a, a, a polyester string. And um, I think that is about, oh, I know what else I was going to say is um, when I'm mentioning the pricing, um, today is going to say it's March 22nd when I'm recording this video, and as of now, the major online tennis retailers are all having a sale on a Lou Power Rough, where you buy um, buy three, you pay for two, is basically kind of, kind of, kind of the way, way it breaks down. So um, it's a good deal, so if you're interested in trying it, you may want to... Uh, Grab three sets and, and give it a try, or if you're not sure, just get one set. And uh, but you know, be be warned, it it is kind of like that gray crack. You may fall in love with it and uh, want to continue to use it forever. Um, I will say that stringing this string, it is probably one of the toughest strings to string, um, just because of its stiffness and that and the rough texture. Um, it is it's probably the toughest on your fingers, and it probably slows me down. Stringing the crosses with this probably slows me, makes me a little bit slower than when I string other strings. So um, it is one of the tougher strings to string. But again, the, the upside to the downsides of the losing playability quickly, being a little bit more expensive and being tough to string, even though there's kind of three downsides to it, they all get thrown out the window because the playability is so great. So anyway, like I said, if you haven't tried it um, I, and you like polys and poly suit your game, give it a try. If you have any questions for me or any comments, uh, please reach out to me on my blog at www.inspired-tennis.com or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you know, leave, leave me a comment there. I'm also on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash inspired tennis and then twitter.com inspired tennis. So that is all I have for tonight, gang. Thanks for checking in.